Welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video. You can see here we have the running an empty series Dodge Challenger uh, RT specifically uh, as brought to us by Hearst and Greenlight. And as you can see here, its most notable feature is the ability, even though they've painted the entire inside there black, makes it hard to see, its most notable feature is the fact that it has an opening hood. So why this Dodge Challenger? Exactly 1970, because I have here another Dodge Challenger. This one's by Hot Wheels. Number 83 from their Boulevard series. As you can see there, the premium. An extremely similar looking vehicle. So unfortunately, while we know that one is an RT, and we have done TAs and other versions of the car on the channel before, uh, this one here is simply a Dodge Hemi Challenger, which qualifies as several different trims and models. Anyway, less important, we have here the, the series, a 911 Turbo, the 930 generation, Audi S4 Quattro. I believe that's the second generation of the vehicle, not the first generation. Uh, the one that would have defeated the uh, Lancers I'm so fond of. 1970 Dodge Chal Hemi Challenger instead of Challenger Hemi, as uh, everybody else does it. Nissan Silvia. Uh, this is the Nismo R2, so I might get that if I see it. And then this one, they keep popping up here and there. Mercedes-Benz 190 E2.5, 16-valve. And so here we have all the licensing information, 2023 of last year, FCA. Made in Thailand, we all know that. And all the uh, sponsor information. So specifically with the Audi and the Nissan, they will have varying degrees of sponsors on it. Yokohama Tire, Rays, there's Audi, there's Nissan, Porsche, Toyota Tires, Chrysler, and Dodge, once again, is still separate. Uh, although Dodge is a product of Chrysler, is a product of FCA, is a product of Stendhal Stellantis. And then it's for collectors, obviously. They, that's what this is geared towards. Why, more specifically, is that this is actually the same price as that. Uh, so if this is important to you and you enjoy collecting this, go right ahead. But just to be aware, you do get the plastic casing from Greenlight. Uh, sometimes they're done poorly. Uh, it's pr if it was a Camaro, I would not recommend it. 1969, but this is not a Camaro. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Uh, and we will be taking a qualitative look at this. Vehicle, like I said, usually the do the uh, premiums, they look okay, but then if there's specific printing on them, it will usually be done poorly. This one, in fact, looks a lot like a Mercury Cougar I did a while ago, uh, the 427 GTE. Those are my fingerprints, as you can see there. I will wipe them right off. Uh, so as you can see, that's what happens. And you can just see how reflective this part is. Uh, the hood does not open. So... Yeah, that's just something you have to deal with. Hot Wheels, Mattel, it's not uh, M2 or any of these other companies. And so there we have the front of it. I don't unfortunately see uh, RTA or TA, uh, any of the other important trim levels from vehicles of this era, uh, which would have made it popular. I brought, brought that up as the R&T race and track version of the car instead of the Trans America, the TNA version. And so we just have Dodge written on the side, nothing else. Uh, we do have, I believe, Dodge on the back here. No, sorry, that's not Dodge. That's just the red lights. Uh, we do have the hood scoop. It is, a, it's, it is a, as you can see there, it's a plastic. It's not the same metal as the rest of the vehicle. It could just be the interior. So it's made in that one fold, and then they just simply clamp the top on it. Hood tie downs for lights. There's the front splitter. We go to the right side, there's the gas cap, handle painted in, Dodge once again. And the tires, though, are done in the very plain uh, muscle car. Uh, unfortunately, I'll take a look at a closer look at it afterwards. Uh, they are not differentiated like the dragsters from M2, so you will not be getting a slightly wider rear tire rather than a skinny front tire. The back, almost, not almost, rather plain. Uh, there is no mention, once again, trim level or anything else on the rear of the vehicle. Uh, it is often done on the rear of the vehicle. And I'll bring it up with that one over there. 
and then left side like same as the right side except for no gas cap you have the handles painted in dodge on the side there uh the main thing missing just occurred to me would be the challenger and we'll see that on that one over there and so into the back we see this is a re-release twice over 2006 2017 but they've what they've changed obviously is uh fca 1970 challenger there's the fx number uh made in thailand obviously you all know that and what i was talking about earlier uh, there's a bunch of M2s I can bring out, uh, which would cover that more specifically. And there you have the, not really the exhaust, but the, for this rear suspension, uh, we know Mattel is very limited. But, I mean, the green light is not vastly superior to that. And so here you will see the difference. And obviously, uh, one of these cars is to scale, and the other is not. You can just see the size difference between the two vehicles. And they both claim to be the Dodge Challenger, uh, the same car. And so here we have, this one is the even wheels. I will try to find for another video. Maybe I'll do a little bit more in depth. The, the one major thing I did not like about this Challenger is not entirely its fault. It's this. The hood does not want to stay open. Other than that, uh, the other main issue was the engine was painted the same as the rest of the engine block. So it is extremely difficult to see. The One of the best ones I've seen is the Johnny Lightning. Uh, Buick, but unfortunately that one's problem is the hood opens like only opens about this much So it is not fantastic either. So either they do a really good job With the engine and then a poor job with the hood or they do an excellent job with the hood and a poor job with the uh, engine Anyway, uh, the Hearst one here uh, We can clearly see there it says Hearst there it says uh, Challenger we have our Dodge right in the middle there um what else we have a bunch of things here performance uh, t uh rt is right on the side there so where this car has written dodge uh this was written ta i will try to see if i can grab an m2 because the m2s are actually not bad at this the problem is is most of the ones that i have are super not super beast those are chargers uh, i have a lot of chargers not too many not as many uh, 1970 challengers that I have not opened and or taken from Greenlight and Hot Wheels Premium. I think this is one of the first premiums I've done. It's not terrible. Uh, it does look really good. It looks exactly like a Mercury Cougar I did a while ago, the 427 GTE. Surprisingly like it. Uh, obviously it's not. It's not a bad buy. Uh, like I said, if you're into collecting the Hot Wheels, you'll be getting this and it does look really nice in its package uh, because Greenlight does not include this kind of thing. It's better for display, but it obviously is not kept in the plastic. It will not last as long. Uh, you have to encase it in one of those plastic holders, which so many manufacturers make. Uh, otherwise, not terrible. But once again, uh, they are rubber tires, by the way, the two-piece. We've talked about this many times. You can see there, the top will come off the bottom. But it is the plainest tires in the world. And so at least this one, you can see there, the Eagle from Goodyear. It does look really nice. The wheels are the same size. I'd have to find the M2 to compare it to that dragster type uh, rear wheel. But anyway, fans and friends, nice to be making the videos again. We have this Dodge Charger uh, as the uh, advertised as the racer. Uh, both gas caps on the same side. You can just see, the, see there the size differences between the cars. And they, we know Mattel claims to, but doesn't fully support 164 scale. Anyway, this is Thomas from Toronto, uh, bringing you the 1970 Dodge Hemi Challenger from Hot Wheels Boulevard Series, number 83. Thanks for watching, and till the next one. And also let me know if you want me to ever do some of those comparison videos. Like, I have so many of these things pile up, similarities. Uh, perhaps not the Camaros, because that was just overblown. But perhaps, like I said, the GTOs, they have a bunch of them. These things, they have a bunch of them. Mustangs, Cougars, that kind of stuff. Anyway, or if you want me to do Star Wars figures, I have a King Ghidorah up there as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till the next one. And Happy New Year.